Shadow Binders is back in stock on shopclownfish.com. That's shopclownfish.com. And now on with the show. Dungeons and Dragons and dancing. And prom. And prom. Dungeons and Dragons and prom. Because of course. <laughs> Because Are of we even surprised? course. I mean, they're not calling it that, but it's basically what it is. Are we even surprised anymore? No. This is exactly who Dungeons & Dragons is for. Dungeons & Dragons is for Tumblr. Confirmed. We've known this for the last four or five years now. And uh, they just announced a new Strixhaven campaign that is supposed to talk about the hot mess. Wait, the hot mess of, of Magic College. Wait, this is a campaign? Yeah. You have to navigate college? Yeah. Oh my God. This is not what I grew up playing. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Yeah, hello. And I'm a little bit pissed and amused and I, I don't even know what, to, I don't even know what to think. This is right up there with orcs being racist and and all of the uh, the reckoning and the the uh, diversity and inclusion initiatives at Wizards of the Coast for Dungeons and Dragons. This is not your father's Dungeons and Dragons. That's for a damn sure. Well, I don't that they're trying to be not your father's Dungeons and Dragons. But I mean, come on, prom. I'm sorry, it's probably gala or gala or however you want to pronounce it. You it, say gala, I say gala. It's prom. It's prom. It's prom. There is no it's prom. It's prom. There's no prom in Dungeons and Dragons. You know where, where else we don't have prom? We don't have prom in fucking X-Men either. But here we are. But here we are. I just... Okay. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, we're over 206,000 subs. Woohoo! Yeah, this is... So my, my childhood has turned into fucking prom. I mean, here's the thing. X-Men, Dungeons and Dragons. The prom, the prom thing is like an owl house thing makes a little more sense. You know, we joke about it. Um, but like, when it, She-Ra didn't make sense. And it sure as hell doesn't make sense. Oh, you had to put up. It sure as hell doesn't make sense in something like Dungeons and Dragons. No. There is literally a campaign book about how to navigate college. So let's, let's talk about this hot train wreck that is the D&D Strixhaven campaign. Again, why was I so excited to hear that TSR was gonna, was gonna come back? Because I'm like, can we finally get some real fucking Dungeons and Dragons going again? You know what gets me? Is there's, there's places that are at war and there's kids that, you know, college age kids that are fighting or watching their families die around them. Or, you know, in, in olden times when you go to war, they'd send children to war and things like that, too. And in some countries, they still do that. They have kids out there, you know, in, you know, out there killing people and things. And what do we do over here? Well, we need a prom, a, a prom game, a college game so that, you know, we feel more inclusive and and safe in our in our Dungeons and Dragons. And if you don't like it, it's because you're a, a istophobic troll, not because it's just stupid. I mean, but I mean, you do you though. I mean, if this is what you want to do, then you do you. I, I gotta take a deep breath. We're gonna read this. Some people might legitimately want to do this, and I guess you know, hey, if they can, ca hey, they're probably cashing in on it. I'm sure they are because that's why they're doing it. Dungeons and Dragons is for Hollywood fake geeks and for Tumblr. Well, just that's don't play it then. I'm not. I know. I'm and not. That's why. I, are a lot of people. That's why I was looking for alternatives. That's why I, I was teaching the kids to play basic fantasy, which I'm not even allowed to do that now. But no, still, I, I'm not playing D and D. D and D is dead, man. It's Let, dead. Okay, wait. <laughs> the magic, the gathering crossover, lets players to go to magic school and make besties and frenemies. Oh my God! It's best friend squad and and, and prom. What the fuck is this shit? What the fuck is this shit? I don't know, calm down. What is this shit? This is not Dungeons and fucking Dragons. Tell me how you really feel. This is some grade A Tumblr bullshit. This is why people are so salty. They're like, stop it with the orcs being racist and the proms and the everybody's equal. Because they're not. This is not how you play the game. Anyway, let's read this. I have no intention of buying it. Holy shit. Wow. You're, Here we go. You're like, you're worse than I am, but like She-Ra. 
I grew up. I grew up with Shira. With Dungeons and, then and you Dragons. Went with too. Best Friend Squad, Pillow Fight, Pro. We got beat up over Dungeons and Dragons. You didn't get to go to prom. I did Because you played, I know, but you chose to. But a lot of people didn't go to good prom because they played Dungeons and Dragons. I think I actually did play Dungeons and Dragons. You know, everybody else went to prom. Sounds like. Oh, you. no, I was drawing comic books. No, I'm just saying. People, it does sound like. People me. like, you know, back in the day got bullied and harassed and beat up for this. If people, other people pretend, like you had football players who acted like they didn't know you in school, but then played Dungeons and Dragons, and legitimately that happened to you. And most people that people, you know, were making fun of didn't get to go to prom, which is why I guess they're doing it now to make up for it later. Back I then, don't know. you took real shit for like playing this stuff, and now it's like, you know. This is. This is. It's, it's everybody's thing. I, now we're gonna next we're gonna have Dungeons and Dragons go to the grocery store. They probably oh my God. already have a book for no. that. No, they have a cookbook. You know what? They have Dungeons a cookbook. Dungeons and Dragons versus Black Friday. Now that is a battle. Anyway, continue. D and D's Strixhaven campaign has mechanics for what a hot mess college life can be. It's been a hot mess for years. We didn't need Dungeons and Dragons to tell us Best, that. Dungeons and Dragons is a hot mess. Look at this so wait, shit. It's not, you don't have enemies. It's, you have besties and frenemies. Oh. This, sounds like a, this sounds like a CW 1990s mean girl is like, you know, boo you whore type thing. Boo you whore? No, that's what she says to her. She says, she goes, boo. She goes, oh, she's like, boo you, you whore, whore and hung up on her. <sighs> okay. So this is this is coming from this is a Magic the Gathering. So this explains so much because Magic the Gathering, I'm going to be honest, they went woke before D and D, and then mm -hmm. then it was the coast of as as yeah, the my, stink of Magic is now on D and D. My brother used to do more of the Magic stuff with the cards and things. I remember he used to do that more. So they have a uh, yeah they wanted to come up with a way to make existing mechanics and characters from the card game fit into, into an entirely different set of established rules. That was especially challenging for the team behind the upcoming crossover book, Strixhaven. I'm sure it was A curriculum of chaos. I'm sure it was very challenging. <laughs> they were also looking for a way to translate the college experience. Oh, my God. Here we go, guys. Oh, no. As we reflected on our own experience as university students, we looked not only at how much excitement there can be, but what a hot mess college life can be said principal designer Jeremy Crawford. Okay. The relationships you can build become really dear and affectionate. Mm. But they can also go the other direction. You can end up with a frenemy who might end up causing you trouble. No, that's not a frenemy. That's an asshole. So I'm sorry. It's just, you know, you're, you can have enemies. You're allowed to have enemies. They're just enemies. You know that, right? So they said they're basically uh, accusing, Polygon is basically accusing them of ripping off Harry Potter. But this is this is Harry Potter, but not by a transphobe. Oh, okay. I oh my god, it does sound like Harry Potter. It's like you're in a, your own house. Is it like sorcery school? Oh, <laughs> oh my god, Harry Potter. So you I mean, take they had, tests. they had a prom in Harry Potter too. I mean, they did. They basically I'm did. I'm being yeah. fair. They had a prom in Harry Potter. They did. Um, so, okay, here's the thing. So they're talking about the, the mechanics of the game a little bit, right? They're like, okay, you can do well in your exams. And it mostly consists of skill checks. Wait, and what? How is that interesting? A lot of roll, a, roll a seven and did you get on your test, you know? <laughs> like, roll yeah. a one and you failed, you know? Come on. You'll get bonuses going forward. Now, here's where it gets really, really juicy. Roll but, a seven and you get to bone the kid next to you. The book also contains rules for building up relationships with other students, which affects the narrative but also has mechanical impacts on the game. There are personality profiles for 18 MP... Oh, holy shit, it's The Sims. For 18 say, NPCs like spread Sims. across the five colleges and players can interact with them during relationship encounters, such as an improv festival, an improv a house party, or Pitch Perfect style singing competition. Gonna, oh. What the fuck is this game? <laughs> <laughs> this is not fucking Dungeons and Dragons. What the fuck is oh this? God. What is this shit? This is not D&D. When I think D&D, &D, I don't think Pitch Perfect. <laughs> what the fuck am I reading? What have you done? Wizards of the Coast, what the fuck have you done to Dungeons and Dragons? Calm yourself. Calm your tits. Pitch Perfect? Pitch Perfect. Pitch fucking Perfect? With oh. Fat Amy? What the fuck is this? Are you, are you literally <laughs> no, okay? I'm not. I'm a little concerned. Me, okay, this makes sense. You, I'm a little concerned. Do you know how hard it is for me to keep my shit together 
when I do videos talking about the sheer fucking stupidity in Dungeons and fucking Dragons, in name only, current year, and you read about the racist orcs, and you read about all the freaking cosplay shit that's going on in the Tumblr fan art. And now they want to put pitch fucking perfect in the game. What the hell? I'm sorry. Was that too much? That was a little too that's much. That's a little too much, yeah. I can't believe this. No, I totally can't believe <laughs> right it. right back to it. It's like, I'm sorry, is that too much? <laughs> All over again. Oh my. This makes this me so angry. Like? Why wow, did, I'm scary. Why did I get so angry about the state of Dungeons and Dragons? Why was I pushing so hard for TSR to come back? Why was I telling people Just to go so buy have, basic fantasy instead of options at least? You know, I mean, okay, it's an option that you don't have to go buy that 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 campaign, okay? I get that. It's, you don't have to buy. But it's indicative of all the changes that we keep seeing. Yes. Like people are like, "We just want to play that one then." Which you can't. You can say, "I don't want to play that one then." But that's they're going to take this and they're going to put it in everything cuz that's what they keep doing. So you cannot get an alternative unless you go somewhere completely different. It's you have to play another is. game because it's not even Dungeons Are you and gonna Dragons. Are you going to be able to talk tomorrow? I'm I fine. hope so because you're I'm like fine. you're straining your voice. I couldn't pitch believe perfect. it. They I read Pitch me. Perfect. I almost me. fell on my chair. They lost me at Pitch Perfect singing competition. So okay, are they going to have like okay? So you you you're on one team from one house and you're the other person at the other house now. Do all the singing parts and pretend like you're you're competing in this competition. What? No, I mean like that's like you want me to. Do, no, 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 no. I mean when they play the game. I, I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. The decisions players make during these encounters could earn them new allies or rivals who oh, will try. Enemies. Oh my god, bitches! You know what? See so the bad guy. The bad guy. Their ultimate badness is they're going to interfere with your plans. Isn't that what all bad guys do? <laughs> interfere with your plans. Oh, now we've got owl people. Players will find rules for the Owlin, a new avian race, new furries. Oh, are they allowed to do that? I'm sure it's a, 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 uh, they look dark, they look dark complexed. Mm, they racist. Um, uh, oh my god, they? they're stand ins for Asians, aren't they? Well, why did you pick owls? Why did you make Asians? Uh, because uh, they're good at math, because they're owls. Oh. And they're smart and they're wise. I gotcha. I was trying to figure out where you camp on that one. I was like, you pulled that one right out of your butt, and I was trying to figure it out. <sighs> You can break up in the four standalone games, each representing a year spent at college. So you're not getting your master's <laughs> from Strixhaven. And each of those years can be done in wait, each of those years can be done in two or three sessions. Yeah. I gotta tell you, this is what real college is like. Um anyway, continue. There's nothing left to say. <laughs> I'm not surprised by There's any of it. Nothing left to say. It's D and D is fucking dead. It's just Dead. It's gone. It's time to build something else. I, I, I don't know what. And they're recreating the Owl House thing or whatever. You know, it wasn't Owl House. No, it was the Owl House. I mean, uh, what was the other one they all were having to fit about with prom? I don't know. I, I don't know why. They're, they, they are obsessed with prom. It's not going to I'm sorry. They're not, it's not prom. It's college. It's college It's prom. prom. It's all prom. Everything is prom. You know what's going to happen, right? These people are going to go out into the real world, assuming they actually get jobs, and they're going to expect... To have prom at work, work prom. <laughs> work prom. We used to have holiday parties. Now we have work prom. It's Christmas work prom. No, you can't say that. It's a holiday prom. Okay. It's work prom. They'll call it gala, gala, whatever. You yeah, you say. do a musical number at three o'clock every day, uh, kind of like the Drew Carey show, except not because people don't like Drew Carey because he's conservative. But you do a little dance number, and it's 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 prom. Can we just bring back shows like The Office and Community and less of less of this stuff? I, I'm out. I'm out. I'm completely broken. Uh, whatever. Good luck with that, uh, Wizards of the Coast. I'm I'm sure they'll sell a shit ton of it to Tumblr. Mm -hmm. But this is what Dungeons and Dragons has turned into. And if they and if this uh, they start selling this, they're gonna turn everything with you know. They're just it's probably a test to see what else they're gonna do. If you weren't sure it was geared to a certain audience before. I would love to see these people actually go out in the real world and deal with real world problems and, and you know, or, you know, for all their yellow about privilege, they themselves are privileged and go to some other place else where people are like actually poor and, and war and things like that. And let's see how, you know, how it goes for them. So when I was a kid, D and D, you went to the dungeon with the sword and you killed shit and you killed orcs. And you usually hid it in your bad. basement because some people didn't know.
or someplace else. Yeah, so it was you like would... you and your friends that were trying to, and some people coming in not wanting anybody else to know they knew you. Yeah, Playing. people pretend like they, they didn't know you because you were, yeah. That was not just a movie thing that actually happened. We did not sing in pitch perfect Don't style. Don't you forget about me? We did listen to heavy metal. Did you sing though? No. no. See, that's what you're missing. And if you weren't making out and, and dancing with the. No, nobody who played D&D &D was making um, out with you anybody. You were not playing that in Real Dungeons and Dragons because this is the real thing, baby. I give up. <laughs> I just, I fucking give up. I'm just, I'm out. I'm out. I, I was out before. I am real out now. So we gotta wrap it up. Yeah, I could have wrapped it up a while ago. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye.